Hej, jag heter Axel. I'm from a family of skiers, so because I'm not from an area where people ski a lot. Um, and uh, when I was three years old, I got my first pair of skis for Christmas, and um, my parents would would take me skiing, uh, mostly on the like in the holidays, Christmas holiday. And uh, it's a good story, but it's also kind of a um, coincidence that I've been like I've been in skiing on Tomic my whole life, and because uh, the first pair of skis I got, they were one meter long, Atomic uh, silver. I still have them at home. You can't know that you're going to be a pro athlete until you are a pro athlete, I think. And I don't really think that far either. I have, I mean, you have dreams of being the world champion, but you don't, it's not a goal to be a world champion when you're a kid, because you, at least for me it wasn't, because you have no idea what it's going to take to be a world champion. So it's more of a dream. I've been doing, performing well at all the different levels until I uh, reached the dream, which was uh, the top, of course. Then I was a full-time skier, and then uh, will never, never regretted that uh, that plan. It was a, was a good plan, and uh, for sure, you know, you travel a lot, and there's you feel like there's things you're missing out on, like you know, be home, spend more time with friends, and uh, but uh, I mean, not that my friends aren't cool, but if I go home for like a couple of weeks and hang out with them, then it's I mean, that life I feel is boring almost compared to the life that I'm able to live traveling around the world and being an athlete, so uh, it's a good life. For me, a perfect day would be waking up, feeling like you're on fire pretty much, and there's a World Cup race that day, and you know that you'll have a good chance of winning that World Cup race. That's, uh, that would be a perfect day, because I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do in the mountains, but for me, there's nothing cooler than uh, World Championships or Olympics. Then, of course, Beaver Creek this winter, coming, or coming back to the place where I injured and put me out for a whole year and then coming back and um, winning that race is uh, it's I mean it is a normal World Cup race but for me it was more than a normal World Cup race so um, that's uh, that's maybe the thing that I'm most proud of actually even though it's not the World Championships or the World Cup overall but if I can win here then I can win like almost everything then I'm that's when I knew that I was back at the at the level that I was before I, I got injured. I think winning the overall is kind of the big, I mean, for sure Olympic golds are great, but winning the overall, it's kind of the biggest thing you can win us. The gesamt weltcup sieger bei den Herren und natürlich auch bei den Damen ist, uh, ist sozusagen die Benchmark. Für uns ist es ein Prestige, immer wieder das beste Material für den besten Athleten zu bringen. Und uh, natürlich wollen wir damit auch den gesamt weltcup sieger dann stellen. Atomic to me is my um, most important partner the history and the, um, the technology that uh, Atomic has through all the years that have been in the racing, that's where one place that I feel very confident that if I have a certain request, a certain feeling or you know something that I think we can try out, how we can get to the next level, the information or the ideas that I will then give to the developers at the, in the company that they have the experience and the technology to, to put that into action fairly quick. Die Athleten sind sehr, sehr stark mit eingebunden. Sie sind für uns die ersten Testpersonen. Wenn ein neues Produkt produziert wird, dann geht es an den Athleten. Der testet es auf Schnee, gibt die Rückmeldungen an die Serviceleute, die kommunizieren dann wieder mit dem Skibauer und so weiter. I never skied on a different pair of skis in Atomic my whole life. 